So one of the things I like to do is I travel a lot, I fly a lot, and I fly in and out of San Francisco airport all the time. And one of the things actually I'm able to do with uh, Google Earth, believe it or not, is actually track the flights in and out of San Francisco airport. So I've just switched this on right now. So I'm actually, uh, I'm tracking the flights here at this point in time. And you can see that, uh, you can see all these little planes. You can see what I'll do is I'll start uh, coming down towards the, uh, the San Francisco airport. And you can see the ones that are actually on their final approach, for example, uh, into the airport at this point in time. One of which will be, and this is actually fully 3D data, so if I zoom right down to the plane, you'll see again that I've actually got the altitude of the plane. And if I click on it, you'll see it's, it's really on its final approach. It's at 200 feet and 152 knots, so coming right into San Francisco Airport. It's a great application just to show the idea of being able to uh, track assets, for example, within the context of a Google Earth. And uh, it's just a fun application as well that just shows the sort of richness of other data layers which you can put on top of Google Earth to really make it an incredible uh, experience. There are a few nice things that uh, I found myself that I really like and I just, uh, to give you an idea of what's coming and what's happening. Um, so one of the things that I have here is, uh, is a 3D rendering of the city of Vancouver. And what's great about my device is the ability it offers me to see out from very far, from the stratosphere, so to speak, and to zoom right down then to a city level and actually walk through the streets. This is actually loading here, so it's loading a number of uh, SketchUp buildings as well as uh, uh, basic renderings of, uh, of building design of the city. Now again, as I, as I navigate here, I'm actually going down to city level. Tilted so that I'm I'm looking at the horizon again, which is really important and incredibly important feature. I'm going down the street as if I was walking down the street. I'm looking at some of the buildings that are here. I want to look at this one a little bit more closely to see, uh, you know, it's a tall building, so again I have to look up, and that's exactly what I do. I move the device up as if I'm moving my head up. And that's really the fantastic thing about the device is its ability to transform itself from a device to go from London to San Francisco in the blink of an eye to a device that allows me to walk at street level in a city like Vancouver.